Okay, so in this question, we're given a binary search tree and we want to find all the modes. The, f the element that occurs the most frequently in the binary search tree. So how do we do this? They have a follow-up. Could you do it without any extra space? But that doesn't really make sense because if all the nodes are distinct, you'll be returning all the nodes. So that's all of n uh, space complexity. So even if, even if I use a map, that's still all of n space. So this isn't this doesn't really make sense. What they want you to try to do is to do an in order traversal of the tree. So if you do a DFS on the node, and then you do a DFS on the left child of the node, and then a DFS on the right child of the node, you in in, in order traversal is if you Say, for example, you have some um, list and you don't want to push back end value here. That's pre-order traversal. This is in-order traversal. And this is post-order traversal. In-order traversal gives you a sorted list for a binary search tree. And the reason for that is because of the, the, defi the definition. The definition is that the left child node is always l less than or or equal to the parent node. Sometimes they it's strictly less than, uh, but in this case it's less than or equal to. And the right child node is always greater than or equal to the parent node. So if I do all the lefts first, that means I. That means when I get to here, I'm at the lowest possible element because when I keep going left, I keep going down. Uh, I keep decreasing um, the node value until I get to the lowest low no node value. And then I slowly go creep back up uh, using these DFS writes. We can think of, think of it like that. So if so, you can reduce the problem to like um, finding the mode of a sorted list, essentially. But then you still have to return all the, all the values um, that have the same frequency, which could be up to all nodes. So it's still space complexity of n. So it, it's really this. You, you can do this, but um, a map would be easier to implement and have the space same space complexity. So let's just use an unordered map to count the frequencies of and a DFS to on the uh, tree node. So a DFS, like I talked about, um, you want to do on the left and the right. Also as a base condition of, um, actually, I hate how it indent, indents, well, hey, um, but if the node is equal to null pointer, or I could say if if n if not n then return. Um, this will be the right. This would be okay. So I'm doing in order traversal. That means I want to be in between the DFSs and just do like frequency of uh, whatever n's value is. Increment that by one. I guess that's how I count the frequencies. Now I just want to go through and find the max frequency and then go through it again to find the to just add to some answer and return that. Add to some answer whatever has the max frequency and just return that. So to find the max frequency I would have to go through and so there's this way of going through this, this is a, uh, a range for loop. So I'm going through all of frequency. And whatever P is, P is actually going to be uh, STD pair. So can you access the, f the key value doing first? Um, 
that or and you can value the access the value using second so if so I want to find the max f and max f should be initialized to something and say you know max f is equal to the max of itself and whatever p dot second is so okay that and then I could do go through all of it again except this time uh, I actually want to push back to the answer if um, if p dot second is equal to max f p dot first push it back and then return answer um, on order map needs two template parameters DFS needs a return type of void. And wrong answer. Okay, great. Let's see. I didn't I forgot to call DFS. <laughs> oh fruit. Okay, there we go. There's always a hiccup. 